But yeah, man, you're here, man, versus Gaming Center. If you live in South Florida, if you live in Central Florida, come out, man. There was a few months where Riot just came every week. A whole yeah. bus of CFL people just came every week, and you just learn so much from just being here and talking to people. You learn a lot more out of the game than you do in it, but you learn a lot from streams, too, and here we are. Ultra Gus versus DJ Jack. Yeah. Matchup thoughts. Again. Um, I feel like... Well, personal, like, personal, like, people-wise matchup or character-wise People-wise. We already talked about Yoshi okay. and uh, Ryu. I feel like Poltergust is going to use a lot of eggs in this matchup. Okay. A whole lot of eggs and approach with, obviously, four there. I mean, Hex is known for being, you know, the egg sniper. But Poltergust is no slasher to either. And that was really smart. Right. Like you were saying, just super armoring out because that is a true combo. Unless you have some sort of crazy super armor double jump. Somewhere frame one where you can get out. That's the thing, man. Yoshi can get out of a lot of things that most people can't between his jump and his fat foot. Whew. Not quite, man. Ambitious. I like it. And that forward air is just going to hit like a truck. Being ab above Ryu honestly isn't that great of a place, I don't think. And wow, that's great what you were there. saying. The down air completely takes folks to attack yeah. out as a get up. As a recovery, and, and but there to spike. I call that the Trella, dude. Anything that ends in the spike is a Trella. For sure. That's just how it is. Shout out to Trella, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thought he was gonna double Trella the man. Go for a spike, but only at 12%. Who cares, man? You, it's not about the percent. It's about sending a message. Yeah. And this arrow. is a very oh, scary I'm place to be. Well, I well, think. He focus attack. He would have beaten the focus attack out man. But yeah, he uh, didn't cancel that focus attack. A lot of lag coming out after that punch, man. A lot, yeah. Yeah. Very punishable. Yeah, after that and punch. we just saw it just then. He didn't even wait for the thing to end. He was just like, ah. why, why squander this opportunity? The one thing I love about TJ Jack, uh, more than any other Ryu, is just his perfect spacing on everything he does, man. This, like those back airs, it's always the toes yeah, that hit. The forward air, always the foot, you know. Back airs. And almost always the just the perfect fist on the down air. Really smart stuff, and he always knows when to go for the down tilt to true shore you, and that's a dead man. Yep. So well, game one going to TGL's own DJ Jack, the premier Ryu of South Florida, the premier Ryu of like the East Coast. Yeah. What? I'll, I'll finish this one. Survival. So game two, take him, take him, less platforms the better. And now Ooh, City. okay. All right. I guess sure, man. he was living longer than the kill percent. He was always dying over 100 plus. So I guess that's his mentality. I understand. Yeah, and Yoshi can kill off the top pretty easily with those, uh, what, like fair and up air, down throw and up air, uh, everything into up air, uh, or up smash as well. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if counterpicking Ryu to arguably his best stage is really that smart of a thing to do. It's probably a personal preference, honestly. Of course, of course. And li like we said, Smash, it's 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 a video game. It's a fighting game, but it's mostly a mental game. And even if even if you're playing a Pikachu, if Lila's your most comfortable stage, you take that Pikachu to Lila and you destroy him. Yeah, it's whatever you feel comfortable on. Exactly. You might be a it might be Ryu's best stage, but you might be more comfortable on the stage. Yeah, the it, it might be Ryu's best stage, but it might also be Poltergust's best stage. Yeah, it might be your you know? personal best stage. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to go for that weak true story, like man. For the longest time, I hated FD. And it's probably one of my better stages now. Oh, no up there. Yeah, no tech on the uh, on the platform there. That could have been a dead man. He was, uh, he was probably going for the egg, egg, uh, egg throw to up there. Mm -hmm. I really like that, how he, he, he recovered with the up B, because it covers... His, the ledge really well. And the crowd chanting Yoshi. We're gonna get into the end of a stock here. Perfect shielding into too much percent. Will strong up to kill up this percent. Well, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. But why? Why go for it? Because it's safe, it's pretty safe on shield. Really good stuff there. While Woo! Two. While Fox's up air looks very similar to Yoshi's. Fox's is two hits, and Yoshi's is one, so it will not break the focus attack. And evening 
up. <laughs> going for sure you can. He's probably going for like uh, an open or something. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> this... Broken move. But what we were saying earlier about D2DA saving that shuttle loop, that true Shoryu is going to kill a little later now, so he has to be wary of that because if you think you got the kill of true Shoryu and it's stale, you're going to make it even more stale by hitting them. It's still pretty good. He's of course. A little bit. <laughs> that was not true. That Shoryu was not true. But. And I for those of you who don't know, yeah, Shoryu and true Shoryu, regular and true moves, stale differently. So, neutral B and down forward A are two different moves completely, different staling. Um, so when when you use regular Shoryu like that, you're not you're not squandering your your kill power whatsoever. So, real good stuff. That. Yeah, really That's crazy, right? <laughs> Why not, man? And if you would have held back there, that could have been a shield break. That was the perfect spot for Yoshi to break shield. A really Shoryu? patient recovery. Nah. <laughs> Maybe now. No. Ooh, I love that. And that's what we were saying, man. Best stage for Ryu, but who, who took the game? Thank you for uh, letting me commentate here. All right, um, man. Well, I guess everyone uh, tweet tweet out uh, verses. Tweet out verses, man. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. But most importantly, watch this game three. Yes. Here it is, dude. <laughs> this man just took Ryu to his counter pick. Well, I'm very excited to see what 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 DJ Jack does yes, next. Sure. Well, thank you guys. Uh, guess have a great day. Yeah, have a good day, man. Three, or a good night. Two, For those of you watching the vods, have a great day. <laughs> So game three gonna be on Dreamland, and already just a volatile start. Oh wow, that just happened. <laughs> so often go for the focus cancel on the on the ledge there, or on the platform there. I'm not sure if that was quite the best thing to do. And this game is just tumbling in Yoshi's favor. He has DJ Jack's number, man. He's in his head, and that's already gonna be a kill, man. What is happening right now? 33% on Poltergeist, and he just got that kill. Really crazy stuff by 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 Yoshi here. And joining me is going to be Nieto. But yeah, that was the quickest first stock I've ever seen from in this matchup. You know, I, I've ever seen from DJ Jack. Hey, buddy. Yeah, for, you just missed it, man. This man killed <laughs> killed DJ Jack in about 30 seconds. It's wow, crazy. did he really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Paul has been putting in work. Much, exactly, much exactly. This man, last game, just took... Ryu as a counter pick to Town City in one. Okay. Poltergeist has no fear right now. Poltergeist is playing out of his mind right now. Oh, that's why. Uh, that's what I feel. Sometimes Yoshi mains have to do. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes play with no fear. Because gotta get in there. So, but uh, wow. So uh, right now it's uh, oh he's a stock ahead and yeah. right now it's put four percent extra credit. Okay. Wow. So yeah, Poltergeist doing really well. He's in a great, great place. Of course, uh, a few more percent. Yep. Oh. That was cool. Jabbed him out of the egg into Shoryu. That was great. That was very good. But 64%, it's a huge lead, man. Oh. But I'm not quite getting that. <laughs> Focus Tag ate all of the forward smash. Of course, of course. You, that when was you, so when cool you, how it looked. When you get hit by things in Focus Tag, though, even though you power through it, you still take the percent. So, honestly, I kind of like that trade. Yeah. Um, it helped Jack to get back up with speed right exactly. now. Exactly. And he tried to do a, a cheeky combo with Ryu. I don't know if you saw that. Not factoring in that Yoshi can just jump out with his armor. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So his super armor is down B and his super armor for the jump. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, super armor for days right now. But um, Yoshi is starting to enter that Shushoryu percentage. Starting to. He's there, man. With 111% with rage. I, I want to say it's just Yoshi sometimes lets do some ridiculous things sometimes. It's weird. But yeah, of course. But right. if he gets a down tilt or an up tilt or, or a jab or pretty much anything. That Yoshi is gonna be in Dreamland right now, and I like how he reacted after the uh, DJX first up to. Oh my! That was so going. patient. That was so patient. Were you so good? DJX so good. <laughs> of course he is, but Paul was just daring for that down air. Just he could have just gotten nervous and just recovered. Oh, with up B, and he'd be dead. And it's right now back air, multiple hitboxes. That's gonna take. That's gonna the take game. it. And usually I say, listen, multi hits is not that big of a deal. It only gets rid of one move. You know, but Poltergeist just proved me wrong, man. Poltergeist playing out of his mind. You know who else oh is also gosh. playing out of his mind? D2TA. D2TA is waiting in winner's finals for Poltergeist. He 